Hey, what is up guys? My name is Oleg. Welcome back to the channel. So I haven't posted a video in over a week and some of you might have noticed, some of you may not have noticed. And also, where is Bond? Well, let me answer those questions. Number one, Bond, he's good. He's just sleeping on a couch, in fact. I didn't want to wake him up for the intro of this video, so he'll make an appearance in the outro of the video. Uh, number two, why haven't I posted in over a week? I actually had a laser eye surgery and I needed a week to recover. I couldn't really look at the computer screen, so I couldn't really edit videos. I couldn't really look at the camera screen to record videos. So I just decided to step back from YouTube, from all the social media, from TV, from everything basically, and just uh, sit back, listen to some audiobooks, listen to some podcasts, have good old conversations and uh, recover for a week. But now I'm back, baby. So let's talk about some watches. In today's video, I'm gonna review this watch right here. Advisor Ascent. Uh, this watch was sent to me by Advisor for review. This is not a production model. This is just a prototype. So a few things about it will be off and I will point them out as we go through this review. Now, Advisor is a micro brand and I am familiar with their watches. In fact, I purchased one of their watches earlier this year and I reviewed that watch. That was the Advisor Astro Helm, kind of a Panerai homage with the California dial, a throwback to some vintage divers with the double domed sapphire crystal. Uh, today's watch also provides quite a bit of value for a pretty good price. So right now they are on Kickstarter for the next, I believe, three days or so, maybe two days. And the watch is for pre-order starting at 260 US dollars with a sapphire crystal in a rotating bezel, a stainless steel case, uh, Seiko NH35 movement, and all of that for $260, not a bad price. After the Kickstarter campaign, which by the way, they are fully funded, uh, the watch will retail at $400. Now, let's get started with the review. Advisor Ascent Series. Let's start the review by looking at the basic case dimensions. We have a case diameter of 42 millimeters, a lug to lug width of 50 millimeters, a lug width of 22 millimeters, and a thickness a hair over 13 millimeters. The watch has modern diver watch dimensions, and of course, this is a diver watch. As I mentioned in the introduction of this video, this is not a production model, this is just a prototype model. So there are a few differences between this and the final version, and I will point them out as we go through the review. Uh, now the case does look like it's bronze, but it's not. In fact, it is a uh, stainless steel case. And uh, upon a first look, it kind of looks like it's bronze, but upon a closer inspection, it gives it a little bit of a rose gold color. Uh, some people might be into it, some people might not be. Uh, just keep in mind that in person it kind of does look a bit rose gold. The shape of the case and the finishes on the case are very interesting. So let's start with the shape. Of course we have kind of this round bezel, then we have this octagon shape behind it, and uh, then we have kind of a standard diver watch uh, case with curved in lugs and some sharp angles. Uh, the finishes on the watch are a combination of brushed finishes like you see here on the sides and on the top as well as some polished finishes like you can see here on this octagon shape or uh, I don't know how many edges this shape has maybe it's not an octagon but for the sake of this video we'll just call it octagon shape so quite a few different contrasting uh, shapes and quite a few different contrasting finishes looks quite nice the finishes are not bad especially for the price of this watch on the right hand side of the case there are two crowns the crown at the bottom by the four o'clock position that's the main crown for uh, the mechanism of the watch the watch is powered by the Seiko NH35 movement by now you should probably be familiar with this movement it has 24 joules 42 hours of power reserve it vibrates at uh, 21,800 beats per hour a reliable movement a robust movement and is a choice for a lot of micro brands for a lot of different uh, watches. Now, because this is a prototype version and not a final production version, uh, the crown uh, is not a screw down crown in this version. In a final version, it will be. And in fact, I can't really do anything with this crown other than hand wind the movement uh, because once again, it is a prototype version. The crown by the two o'clock position, that's the crown for the inner rotating bezel. I really do like the look of and in a rotating bezel. It, I think it looks really good, kind of gives it a throwback to some of the vintage diver models. Taking a closer look at this dial and it is gorgeous. I really like this deep royal blue, the sunburst effect. It's a nice contrast between this and this rose gold or bronze color. 
uh, it plays with the light really nicely uh, there are some outdoor shots here and uh, yeah it just reflects the light really uh, really well quite a bit of loom on this dial let me pop a loom shot on the screen right now as you can see even the inner rotating bezel is also loomed which i think is the right call for this watch of course we have the date window by uh, the three o'clock position on the dial here it says advisor that's the company automatic and 200 meters of water resistance all applied indices for hour markings i do like the depth of this dial i do like uh, the fact that the hands kind of match the overall style and shape of the case a lot to like about this dial the watch does have a sapphire crystal it's that flat with some ar coating so it's easy to tell what time it is even in different lighting conditions and i think it was a right call to apply air coating to this crystal because you really want to see that uh, dial you really want to see that sunburst effect play with light instead of seeing the reflection off of the crystal taking a look at the case back we can see this octopus here and the diver kind of going towards an octopus kind of a cool engraving uh, the case back is done really well it's a screw down case back uh, advisor ascent sapphire crystal uh, 200 meters of water resistance and automatic written at the back here the watch comes on this leather strap the leather strap is excellent it's a really good quality leather strap genuine leather and advisor logo stamped at the back of course comes with this tank buckle uh, advisor logo again printed here and the buckle is matching the overall color of the case uh, one thing that i would suggest advisor do in the future is add some quick release pins to this uh, buckle again it's a great strap but with quick release pins it would be much easier to exchange it especially since this is a diver watch i put it on a nato strap and i think it looked great on the nato strap it's not too thick so you can still pull it off on nato actually this strap that you see was sent to me by armelia nato straps uh, I will do a giveaway because they send me a couple of different straps so I'll do a giveaway in the future plus I'll link their website in the description below if you're curious to check it out but advisor should definitely have added some quick release pins to this watch uh, to allow for quick strap change one more negative that I have and it's a small complaint I'm sure will be addressed in the final production version but as far as this prototype goes uh, the crowns both are a bit sharp here so if I run my finger through it I can feel it uh, sharp just the way the machining is done and again I'm sure this will be addressed in the final production version of course both crowns are signed with the advisor uh, logo and here's what a watch looks like on my seven and a quarter inch wrist it looks pretty good I do wish it was more of a bronze color uh, otherwise I would go for the stainless steel version this rose gold not really my cup of tea but i think that blue dial looks awesome and the uh, contrast between kind of the green indices and the blue dial is really really legible in different lighting conditions all right guys so that was my review for advisor ascent classic a pretty good watch for 260 dollars if you buy it at the retail price of 400 dollars i don't know i think they're facing quite a bit of stiff competition at that price point something i didn't mention in the review portion of this video is the fact that the watch is available in a few different color schemes and combinations my favorite is the metallic uh, dial with the stainless steel case i think that version looks the best although this one rose gold with the blue dial also looks pretty good and also the watch is available with this kind of skeleton uh, dial not really my cup of tea but if you're into it uh, check it out and of course i'll link their kickstarter page in a link description if you're curious about the brand and you want to check out some of their watches i appreciate you watching this video until the end please leave a comment in a comment section below let me know what you think about this advisor ascent classic are you picking one up are you skipping it what do you think about the faux bronze look leave all those thoughts in the comment section below i always enjoy reading your comments by the way today i'm arrest i'm wearing my omega seamaster absolutely love this watch it's one of my favorites in the collection this bracelet is just kick ass also in the description of this video there is a secret link check it out if you want to i appreciate you watching this video i hope you had fun i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you guys next time